What's going on folks? I'm just going to do a little quick video on how to remove and replace the uh, water filter in this uh, Samsung refrigerator. Um, it's located down in the uh, bottom right corner right here as you can see right there. Yes sir. So uh, first things first you're going to need to uh, more than likely pull out your fridge and get to the water hookup on the back so you can turn off the uh, water. Because if you don't, you're going to have a huge mess on the floor. So let me get to that. Alright, so my water hookups in here. I'll go a little closer so you can check it out. See, so you're going to turn it off. So when you remove the uh, water filter inside your fridge, you don't have a big puddle and a continuous puddle flowing out. A surefire way to ensure that you turn the water off the right way, if you're not sure, is to always, uh, you know, just try and use the water. It's not working. So, as you can see on this fridge here, the uh, red light is tripped, indicating that it's uh, in need of a new water filter. Why it's called a water filter, I really don't know. Because technically, it doesn't filter the water, it only adds fluoride, which is kind of weird. I didn't think that's what you would be calling a filter, but anyways, that's another story. So here is the uh, the water filter. Uh, it's not a genuine Samsung water filter, but as you can see, it'll work with this part right here. So this is the original Samsung part number. And this is the generic one. I've been using them ever since I got this fridge. It's five years old, it works fine. So there's no point in paying an extra bit of money just for this name right here. My personal opinion, of course. But anyways, one thing to note, they suggest you submerge this in uh, cold water for about 15 minutes before you actually install it into the fridge. The purpose I'm not sure exactly maybe it's just to make sure you get it all uh, lubricated inside I have no idea that's probably just a stupid uh, answer right there but uh, whatever I tried but yeah all right so we're gonna just remove the old one and put this bad boy in so you're probably gonna want to get a paper towel you know when you go to do this or maybe a rag or something just in case a little extra water comes out. Because the filter itself is going to have some water inside when you take the old one out. Alright, so this is the old one. As you can see on the fridge itself, it shows you the arrows and ways to uh, turn and lock and unlock the filter. So you just go like this, turn it to the left. There you go. See, as you can see, there's a bit of water. That's just normal because, the, like I said, the old filter held some water in there. And you can hear it pouring out into the bowl. All right, so why don't we just insert the new one and twist it the other way to the right. And it's locked into place. Let me just get this water out of here real quick. Okay, so there we go. If you're not sure, you could always try it like this. And just put it in. And turn. As you see, it goes in further when you twist it to the right. So you're, you're good to go. And that is that. And then you just turn on the water before you push the fridge back and you're set okay so I got the fridge pushed back the water's turned on one thing you're gonna want to do is what it says here you gotta reset the filter now it's ready to go and then once it's due for an exchange you know you're good to go now they definitely recommend you um, rinse it out or flush out the filter about 10 glasses of water you know for optimum performance of this filter and, and taste of the water 
Uh, so I'm just gonna, you know, run a couple of um, bowls of water under there. Well, put the bowl, you know what I mean. And then I'm just gonna throw the water on the grass so it's not wasted. So that's it. Real simple. Real simple. Like I said, the video explaining it in the video and filming it takes longer than it actually does to change it up. So you'll be right back to the good tasting water. Happy drinking. Thanks for watching. Wait a second here. Let's just make sure. Yeah, everything is good. Alright. <laughs> yeah, and then you're going to notice when you first do it's going to butter and spit like this that's normal it's just get, you got to get the air out of the system eventually it's going to flow smooth and normal nothing to worry about yeah, as you notice it's starting to flow a little smoother Alright, I'm not going to bore you with that. Thanks for watching.